Welcome to Kitty Place Morrowind. I am Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be your host for this episode. And in fact, I also have been Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and was your host in the last episode, even though I forget say, forgot saying so. Actually, it's simply due to me not having recorded Morrowind for so long. I'm sorry, I, I know that I should, I should smell, uh, I should shower, take a shower. Um, so I've been um, not recording more of it for a, for a good while, and I've been recording in German, and there my greeting message is a bit different. And this is why I had to think, uh, how was my English greeting? What, what, how, how do I do this? Oh, I f actually forgot. And now I remembered, so I did it again. Okay, so we are now in Dagonfell. We have bartered with Yotra the Peacock. Let me, and let's just have a little look around Dagonfell before we go to the ruin of Msuleft, which is supposedly southwest of Dagonfell. And there is Hrayrek the Lean. Come on then, say something or move on. Ma'am, I am going to say something. I'm going to ask you if you have something that I that is useful for me. This fishing village is called Dagonfell. Nice, a fishing village again. I imagine you're up here looking for Dwemer ruins, but that's none of my business. What did you want to ask me? Well, for one, you're right. I am looking for the Dwemer ruins, so can you tell me something about them? Dwemer ruins all over the place here on the island. Fox, folks come hunting Dwemer artifacts. Never mind the Emperor's laws. None of my business. Emperor's laws? Is it forbidden to hunt for the Dwemer artifacts? Well, I can't ask her. Do you offer... I've heard you offer some services. Um, can you t teach me something? Ah, you can teach me security, sneaking and acrobatics. So security is um, what, um, what helps me picking locks without magic, but since I'm a mage, I'm not going to use this. Sneak could be interesting. And since it's so low that it only costs 102 gold pieces, I'm just going to buy a few levels. Oh, you're a very, very good trainer in how to move unseen. That's very neat. I'm going to increase sneak until it either until it costs 200 or until I have level 20 or until I'm out of gold. Oh, that's the barter that I don't want to buy anything off of you. Thank you very much. And there we go. I think these goals match up pretty well because now I'm at, I'm going to train level 20 and there we go. And I think it now will cost me 200. Yep, so I hit two or three goals at once. Thank you very much. So let's see what else there is. So this is, I guess, the, the door to the room that I can rent. And these are also rooms for rent, I guess. This is to somewhere else in the... Ah, yeah, the, 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 other, the other of the two houses. So let's check out the other half of the houses, shouldn't we? Let's see what the other part of the end of the world is like. Oh, hello, Vongvild. You're in Dagonfell, Nighty. It's a fishing village, or maybe you know that already, and you aren't lost. In which case, you may have got some questions you were planning to ask me, so go ahead, just ask, and I'll answer. You looking for services here? Very few, very few. Looking for someone in particular? Go ahead, don't be shy. Well, actually, I'm basically just looking around, so he can teach me fighting, which is not that interesting to me. Sorry, being being a mage after all. There's this other Nord guy, sold fine hair. He is just fine because he has fine hair, apparently. Can you tell me something about the Dwemer ruins? Mm, okay, nothing that the other You're girl didn't tell me. Don't press your luck. Let's see, there is this book here, Grasping Fortune, which is owned, so I can only open it up to see if I gain a skill point. And I don't think it is time for 
another story time yet. Ah, Sarner the Clerk. Hello. Say something or move on. So he doesn't. He has a lot of topics I can talk about. Okay, can I talk about? Am I still left here? No, I can't. And Frinfeld. Frinvenhild. And she actually buys and sells stuff. Um, I can do the restoration potions and I'm going to sell these soul gems, which I don't need. I can do the restoration potions now. Let me cut you a little bargain here. I need to find some place where I can... Oh, it's only one potion that I can actually make. And it failed. Well, it was worth a try. And that's basically... That's basically this place here. Let's head out again and check out the rest of the town. Of oh, the cute little fishing town. Loading area. So despite having a better graphics card, the game still experiences some lag and also still um, has long loading times, which of course is due to GPU. So there is another trader here. Which means I'm going to check out the wares. Hello, Hefnir. Hefnir, I guess. No, I'm not going to pursue you. I'm going to barter with you. So he has weapons. Ah, yeah, I wanted to check out the weapon stuff. Um... <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. You know, I'm not sick. This is just embarrassing. Anyway, I'm going to buy the bread because it gives me more um, restore fatigue chances. Oh, this is expensive. There we go. And I wanted to check out my skills. I wanted to compare my long blade and my short blade skills. A long blade I am at 5 and short blade I guess I am at 5 too. No, short blade actually is a, is my my is one of my minor skills. So I want to. <clears throat> now this is weird. I nearly inhaled, <laughs> I nearly choked on something here. Um, I, I actually want to use the dire wiper blade because my skill is way better. So I've always been Kenfen, Yep, yeah, no German English here. I've always been fighting with the iron longsword, which is a long blade, which I only have a skill of five in. <laughs> I have I am better with a short blade, so I'm a dagger person. So I should switch to the dagger and sell the long blades. Or I could also use the iron iron short sword, which is thrust seven to eleven. It always uses the longest uh, the the strongest for some reason talking is not one of my strengths this well technically after noon. Um but I've just had breakfast um, after doing sports. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to keep this because it has 5 to 11 points poison damage as long as it's charged. So I'm going to sell these to other blades, which of course means I have to... This is the console. Uh, I think it was F1, yeah. Inventory. Yeah, yeah, you know, the fire is warm. Dancing close to the fire is warm. Of course, this means he doesn't like me. Something could it be that I'm not wearing any pants or something. No, there are pants, belt, robe. So I'm basically wearing, I'm, I'm not naked or something. Well, I, I, I don't know what you're about. Usually this just means that they don't like me. There we go. And give them a little less or get a little less than they that they want to give me so they like me more and then let's do these potions one potion succeeded and my alchemy skill increased which means my chance of succeeding increased of course as you see I'm burning through these um, 
ingredients, which is okay. I am just training my alchemy skill. I will be able to do this later using money, but I'm not a rich man. Not anymore, that is. Basically, what I actually do need is a place to store all this stuff. And, and I'm unsure. I do know that that some storage areas do reset in this game. Oh, this trapdoor is actually a place I can go to. And this shield looks Don't awesome. Your luck. You're on your honor. You're an officer of the Imperial Law. I'm not going to become an officer. I'm going to become a mage. I honestly, I've never joined the Imperial Cult. I never had any interest in them. <clears throat> so this is where we came from. Over there is a Dwarven Ruin, which could already be the one that we are looking for and still left. And then there is... First the quick save button and then this Don't one press your luck. Mate. You're on your honor. Welcome to Dagonfell, Nighty. I'm Mate. We're country folk here, Nighty. We don't stand on ceremony, so just go ahead, ask your question. Uh, what about Dagonfell? This was a Nord settlement thousands of years ago, until the Dunmer drove the Nords from Orwind. Then the Dwemer built the city here. The village built on the ruins of the Dwemer city. Since Morrowind became an imperial province, Nord fishermen have returned here. Imperial scholars and adventurers also came here to explore the various Dwemer and Daedric ruins of Shiogorad. There we go. So basically this whole island is a giant Dwemer or Dwarven city. As for the Mare or Mer, there is the Dunmer, the Dwemer, the Falmer. These are the, considered the different elf types. Dunmer, Dwemer. Dunmer are the Ash Elves. Dwemer are the Dwarves, which are considered some kind of elves, if I'm not mistaken. The Falmer are. You will you will see those in, uh, a lot in Skyrim. They are the like the underground dwarves that that have like <laughs> devoluted southwest is where I want to go um, from their ancestors. Now there we go. Let's just get some ingredients that we can sell and also try to make potions of. Now this fella here needs to attack us, else he won't stay still for our... There we go. There you are, thank you. Give us your plumes, racer plumes. I'm mostly interested, of course, in the fortification, uh, in the restoration of fatigue, because this is a potion that we are actually needing, but I will also drain fatigue. I will also turn low. I will also do other potions if I can. But doing all sorts of various potions is not that advisable. Little peek onto the map. <clears throat> because someone already marked the position of the ruin on our map. Oh, that's that's okay. Actually, this these are a, if you if you're power gaming, if you're uh, and, and glitch using, you can use these for infinite sneak training. Um, if you manage to to sneak around them, if you're good enough, so you can actually sneak around them, uh, you're doing constant sneak checks, and their perception is very low. So you can keep on sneaking. Have constant sneak checks that you will pass and a passing sneak check means you train your skill this is how skill advancement works in this game pass a skill check and you get experience in that skill and then it gets higher okay i can't rest here because enemies are nearby and i'm already seeing the shadow of a cliff racer that i actually don't want to meet because there are just so many and so annoying And there I can rest and recharge my magicka. Yeah, we are we are progressing um, 
<clears throat> in 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 game time we are progressing very very slowly because we are like resting every five steps that we take. Also pretty unrealistic, but I could. But it's, it's the only way to restore magicka unless you have something that gives you constant effect of restore magicka. And I think a constant effect of restore magicka is n like only possible through glitching, which I don't want to you to actually use. Okay, I do want to get he to this position like over here, but there is no way there. So this is, oh, it wasn't Sheogorath, it was Sheogorad. I think Sheogorath is one of the Daedric Lords. Let us try this. Okay, this does work. And it is fortify willpower, what we get out of a scrib. There we go. I am simply wanting to gather some resources and so this is resist poison I want to be able to make more potions as you can see we're already pretty strong you can't you can't mix two ingredients with the same like the same ingredient twice only two different ingredients with the same effect so I'm going to go ahead to the left, and I guess I'm going to spiral closer and closer towards the ruins that we are heading for. I'm so left. There we go, the crash fiber. I'm going to collect a few things. Just to make it more interesting. Yep, we need to get more north again. I guess it is this road that we must take. And there it is in all its glory. The ruins of Msulev. Which means I'm going to... Well, I, I, I don't need that many quick saves in this game. I have recorded the German Let's Play of Half-Life prior to this and played some Satisfactory. And in Half-Life, I like, quick save after every encounter that I had. Obviously. Especially since I'm not a very good FPS player. And I'm pretty sure that without the new graphics card, which I bought for, for Alex, I wouldn't have had this smooth experience, smooth in air quotes, because it is 20 frames per second, which is, by gamers, considered a very bad experience actually more enemies oh yeah it's one of those okay spark 3 doesn't work but spark 1 does there we go now we just need to wait until he comes over in the distance where he he can attack us and we can attack him usually this works by like moving back and forth a little, like backing up, and then they decide, you know what, I do have, it's the button, it is the number nine, I actually do have the bow and arrows, so I'm going to use those, just because I have them, and now I can use my blade, and there we go, thank you very much for your patronage. I take my customers very seriously. Also, the game does save with every rest, so... We are good on that. I am going to try and... Shoot that one. Practice a little of my marksman skills. Which, of course, means I do need to hit. I think I should train up on that, because it can be very handy, especially for those. Let's use a spark for now, and then train some of the marksman skills. And 
and the soundtrack changes because we have been attacked very quickly. Okay, ah, I didn't click until healed. I only rested for an hour. Of course, I wanted to rest until I was fully healed. I actually really need to resist the urge to press S5 after resting. Which is... I'm so used to dropping quick saves all over the place. There we go. So many enemies here. They don't even they don't even give any 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 loot. Well, that one's just staying there. You can kill it on the spot. Stay here where it's safe, relatively. So, to be honest, I don't remember anymore what our mission was here. We are looking for something. Let us head to the journal and check and like and select and it actually doesn't tell us so I need to check over here let us see I am looking for a quest by Edwina This is, you don't have a full text search, sadly. <clears throat> okay, this is this the quest before that. So, grateful. Iana Surrenders, the ring of Iana Surrenders. Julian's hut. We paid the guild. The Dwemer tube. I returned the Twimmer Duke. We already did all this. Again, to Chulefting, which we already did. We helped the lady who was molested. This is something we still need to do. We have Elena Surrenders. Ghost case, Iena Sarandas, next. I delivered, there it is, the excavation. She asked me for, to find plants for a Dwemer Scarab. This is what we're looking for, guys and girls. A, not a Dwemer Scarab, but the plants for one. And look, here, here we see the dwarves. Here we see one of the famous race of, well, I would say engineers, mechanical and steam. They must have lived in a very good way, actually, with all their steampunky stuff. So let us head inside. Now I'm going to drop a quick save. Head inside and see what awaits us within those ruins. First of all, I'm going to be a little bit more quiet now because I don't want the enemies to hear me right away, even though I'm talking to you. Ouch. Okay. He is very, very strong. Maybe he won't just attack us right away. I, I assumed that everyone inside those ruins was an enemy. Let us just head up there straight away, and if this kills us too, good sir, this character is in combat, okay, there we go, wow, okay, so new, shield, Spark, Remote Paralyze. There it is, Remote Paralyze. That's the one that I'm looking for. So we're dropping a Spark, Paralyze, and then hopefully another Spark will do. Spark. We don't have even have the time to paralyze him. So let's try it the other way around. First paral Paralysis and then Spark. The 
paralysis. It did not hit. Seriously, it did hit. He could move anyhow. Now I am confused. It only he's only paralyzed for so that's weird. Okay. He can move a little bit and then he's paralyzed again. Okay, I'm a little a little bit confused, but first I'm going to check if there is a restore magicka potion. Wrong button. Again. As I said, I did play satisfactory at <laughs> the use keys of the left mouse button there. And I'm now mixing up the controls. Oh my god. Okay. Remote paralyze. Let's get this done. There we go, this was superb. So, let's take all of his gold because we just killed him. And you know, if you want, if you kill someone, you get to keep their gold. Natch leather, I don't care about natch leather. This orcish battle axe though, is pretty heavy. On the other hand, it is pretty valuable. I mean, 2000 gold, who, who would keep that laying around there, right? Okay, now this is again the time for a quick save, especially since there are enemies nearby. And I have, am out of Restore Magicka potions. Let us see if we can actually do something with the stuff that we have. Restore luck, not so much, uh, but I guess we do have some... We don't have, we don't have the... We don't have any matching effects now. I actually assumed we did, but we did do have a quick save. This one is trapped, so I'm going to use... No, I'm not going to take off my robe, I'm going to use one of the probes. And try to disarm the trap, just because it gives me... As soon as it succeeds, it gives me a little bit of experience towards the security skill. The lock level should be too high for me to actually pick that lock. Yeah, it says lock too complex. And I already can hear that there is someone on the other side and Unduzi does actually help me open the door, which is very helpful. Knock, knock. And there we go. Of course, these are two doors, and... Okay. This is some very strong woman. Not a problem, I did drop a quick save. Because I already... I already thought that she would be very strong. So I need to back up a little. So I can rest, I think I need to even head outside so I can rest. You are the reason why I have to rest again. I definitely need more Magicka or Magicka potions, but first I need a potion in real life. It's too bad that... So I'm drinking an energy drink, I'm not going to tell you the name. I don't want to... I don't want to do some uh, advertising for, for any brands here. Unless they are really, really, really awesome. Well, this is pretty awesome. Ah, these are the, the plants already. I'm a bit disappointed. I thought I, that I had to, you know, search all those ruins, and I still want to. So I think I'm, I'm trying to. So I'm going to fetch the plants, and then there is 
the key, I guess. Okay. So now it's, it's kind of weird that they are locked inside there. So I'm, I'm currently thinking, I want to search those ruins, but I don't want to. You know what? I'm going to stop recording this episode, and in the next episode, I will let you know how I have decided. Bye-bye.